I just took part in an adventure that was literally so challenging and intense, and I haven't got a clue how I'm about to share this. So where do I begin? Alright, we'll start from the coast where I literally just spawned in looking for some early gear to defend myself and hopefully gather all the supplies needed to set up my first base. So with the little gear I had, I headed away from the coast and made my way inland. But we were a bit behind joining this server late after wipe, so everyone had already set up a base. But that didn't stop us because we got to a custom loot spot of Starry and got ourselves some decent starter gear. We headed deeper inland towards Tizzy Military till the end of the day and throughout the night. On our way as we were checking the last civilian city before Tizzy, shots drew our attention and we moved over to investigate. Oh shit, there's a guy. The only challenge here, man, is... Oh, duh, this guy's got a base and he's shooting out of his base. We found the shooter and no, he wasn't in his base. But he was one of the many geared players in this area. And after killing who I thought was the last member of the group, I ran away from the shots so I wouldn't lose all of my hard-earned base supplies. Oh, shit, man. One tap tap. Fuck. We could probably get a spawn. Ugh. I think there were just too many to handle. Okay, yes. We died and lost everything. But on this particular server, there's a small chance that you can spawn far inland instead of on the coast. So I just kept on killing my character until I'd get the right spawn. And eventually I did. Once I realized I was in the city I'd just died in, I went over to one of the dead bodies. And as I got there to loot, a guy was just waiting for me to stand still. But I wasn't going to completely give up. 15 minutes later, I finally got another northern spawn, and instead of going back for bodies, this time I went to Tizzy military base to reloot. I somehow got myself a loaded SVD, and shortly after leaving the tents, I saw a guy running near me. He looked like he was fully geared, and this was my best chance of getting loot back. Back on track, that guy was fully geared. We looted him and the rest of Tizzy and headed south running into a heli crash where we found the most valuable drug on the server. And then I decided I just wanted to become as rich as I possibly could. Kavari, Kavari. Oh my god, this guy, oh my god, they're loaded. He's got good drugs. <gasps> Dude. Woo. Holy. Golden Deagle too, I don't know if you want that. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. <gasps> Shit, man. This is an insane start, I like this. Really good start. I mean, for you, it started off a bit rough, but... <laughs> now, yes, so far, most of what you've seen has been a positive start. But on most games like Daisy, 
your luck will run short. Me and my friend Project Redtie wanted to do one more drive to buy some more base supplies. Alright bro, this is either going to go really well or really well. It's been pretty smooth, huh? We only got shot at once. Really smooth, oh uh, yeah. I've got metal wire ready. Okay, we can just go, man, if you want. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, that's not the way we go. A guy there! I'm hit once. I'm dead. Oh my god. Get me up, get me up. Run, run! I'm dead, I'm dead. Car doors are open too. Well. <sighs> well that could have gone a lot better. We just lost our car with our second batch of base supplies. But that wasn't a big problem because we'd now fortified our base and filled it with a load of loot. It was still a great start. Now just so you're aware, this had all happened in our first day of playing. And it wasn't over just yet because I decided to stay on a little while longer. But nothing crucial happens, so let me save you some time and tell you what happened. We looted up again, arriving at VMC finding a very rare gun we were pushed by gear guys very quickly and killed. So I looted up again on the west side of the map and took the guns I had straight to the black market trader at Devil's Castle to see if I could find some players and sell a few guns. And yes, there were clearly some players. God, didn't get the last one, dude. Fudge! Fudge! I got off that day, which then leads us into the second day of this adventure. And it's where things actually escalate and we meet our match. Well, it's day two of the winter adventure. Um, I don't know what we want to do today, guys. I don't know what the plan is. I mean... Maybe we'll just focus on PvP today. Um, and just grind out money, guns, ammo, clothes, armor, just all of that stuff. And that was our goal for the day. Fight for loot to sell and eventually upgrade our base. I headed back home to grab some weapons and armor ready for PvP. Once I'd gathered the supplies I needed, I headed over to meet up with some friends that wanted to run around with me. Once I'd met up with my friends and looted the airfield, we got into some PvP around VMC and Cabanino. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ditch, Where? Ditch, like coming up to the T-junction. Okay, okay. Heading north. Yeah. Oh, dude, they're right here. Right here, coming towards us. Dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. My ass just got I see him, I see him. You've hit him. I see a gun. Oh god. Uh, yo, uh, one second. Uh, they, went, they went in between barns. I just saw two guys moving in between barns. Okay. Yeah. Uh, zombies moving in between barns. They're sent, uh, center tents. I'm moving. I, I'm moving I saw right. a player yeah, going in. Uh, hmm. He's around those barracks. Yeah, yeah. I'm moving right. I'm going to get an angle on these guys. I'm going middle. Uh, you're pushing in, straight in. I'm moving right, sort of, to the church side. I'll stay up on the hill then. Yep, see a guy. Oh no, zombie guy or a zombie? Red roof barn. Oh, no, red roof barn. Big red shed. Big red, big red barn. Big red. Oh, that's coming from the. They're shooting at me, I think. Brown building, I think. 
Oh shit, there's a guy in the middle of the field. Fresh your geared. Yeah, two guys, two guys, one's further ahead. Yikes. Yeah, man, these two guys, dude. I don't know what they're doing. But they're towards Vishnoi, you know? You oh, see, bro, I'm getting shot at, I think, by them. Oh, no. Oh, dude, guy behind me, man. Guys, towards Altar. Towards yeah, Altar. Pushing up, pushing up. Yep, pushing up. Who you guys up on the hill? A uh, starry tree line, starry tree line, you know? Alright, uh, yep. He's dead, one's down. Up on the hill? Yeah, killed one. Good shit, man. Yeah, I see another one, they're on a bit further left, towards electrical box. I'm gonna be shot. I'm dead. Where was he? Uh, uh between Starry and Novi. Between Starry and Novi? Yeah, in the field. Yep. Oh, I see him. Shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna swing round to. I'm gonna swing round. Three of them, dude. Fully flipping geared, man. We're pinned. I'm pinned right now between two. Oh fuck! I can't. Help. I don't know what to do here, mate. Honestly, there's so many people. I think one's coming straight towards me. Now there's four of them, bro. There's four. They're all fully geared as well, man. Yeah, I see one. They're pushing the red roof on. Oh, big red shed. Big red shed, sir. Alright, yeah, I saw him. I saw him. There's four of them, man. Oh, yeah, one's close to me now. Dude, the way they zigzag is crazy. Hit one. He tanked a 338, mate. I tell you, man, they're going to be loaded. This is going to be a hard fight. I couldn't aim. This game's broken. I can't. This game is so broken. It's so broken. I died to the very first guy in their group, which was actually a bug that got me killed. As I was pushing him and began to spray into his direction, my gun lowered and I wasn't able to raise it. And once I could, I was already finished. And then around 40 seconds later, my friend Cairo was killed too. Now why is this part of the story so important? Well, this is the critical moment in this story where we may have met our match and ran into what seemed to be the most dominant clan on this server. Now in a normal case scenario, after dying and losing to a group, we would just reloot and start again. But this clan took my attention and I wanted to go back with my friend. And that's exactly what we did. I went back to Staric to scavenge weapons and Cairo had already arrived and secured some guns. And there they were again, running from Starry to Novi. We knew they had to have a base nearby, and we realized the only one it could have been was the church. They're coming out, they're coming out, Josh. Oh shit. And to no surprise, it was their base. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Look at look at them, bro. Look at this. I know they're so sweaty, dude. They're like. <laughs> Might have killed. Did I kill him? I killed yes. him. Good I shot. called him. Good shot. Eventually, one of them came back as a freshborn, killed my friend Cairo, followed by me. After dying, I went back as a freshborn to make sure these were the same people that I saw earlier. Well, I think we met our match. Okay, 
so decisions had to be made. Do I commit to this ongoing fight which will take so much of my time and energy, or do I just move on and play the same old loot up, PvP and die game? <laughs> I think you knew the answer to that from the very beginning. Yes, those guys had so much gear, so much armor, such OP guns, and were one hell of a tryhard sweat squad. But when you give me a challenge on Daisy, especially of a group this size and this caliber, I promise you I will give it my everything and I won't call quits until I have won. Well, I should probably tell you what happens next in this story. I spawned in Cherno and headed west and looted Belota. After the airstrip, I met up with Camo, my friend, and we headed further northwest. Oh! Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. We were attacked at the western military base, but we had too much to lose, so we tried to escape. But suddenly, my game froze and crashed, and as I was loading back in... Oh, you're dead. Obviously, I stormed off that day, and we progress to day three. And nothing really changes. I began that same old looting we all know, and I actually got some really good gear and guns. I then went much further north to meet up with my friend. But like I said before guys, nothing really changes. And I'm going to show you guys exactly why that is. Go here, go here! One dead! Yep. It was death after death, and I hit this period where I couldn't survive any PvP encounter I got into. There were quite a few moments in this adventure where I considered stopping and playing elsewhere. And this was one of those moments. So after yesterday ending so poorly, and today filled with constant deaths, I was very close to switching server. But this time, instead of relooting, I went back to one of my dead bodies for a gun to hopefully make a play with. I don't think they looted me. I don't think they looted me. It doesn't look like they have. Oh shit, there's a fully geared guy right there. Oh, they didn't. I think my gun's stuck. My dead body absorbed the shot, which saved my life. But I was stuck in the open, and if I was going to die, I promise you I would have abandoned this server. Everything that takes place in this video was relying on my survival here. I can't aim. Based on this guy's passive playstyle in this fight, I was so sure he had at least one other friend on his way over to help. This meant I had to play aggressive and push him before I was sniped. No. I killed him. Holy shit. 
Oh my lord. Oh my god, his key's loaded. Heavy plate car as well, bro. I've got to take that. Oh, dude, he had a PKM. He had a PKM. Oh my god, he had so much gear. It's so much gear, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That fight right there in the field, fighting the guy at the hay belt was so intense. I can't even tell you. It was so intense. After that fight I won, and the pile of loot I'd gained, things kind of spiraled from that point onwards, and we started doing well. Oh yeah, I see you two guys. See? Yeah, I do, I do. Two of them. He's dead. Nice, nice, good shit, good shit, good shit. I see one, I see one, I see one. Um. Uh, yes, I see him, I see him, I see him. Yeah, yeah we can push him. He's on me. He's dead. Nice. Oh shit, go on me. This is the trader. Oh, hold on. You see two guys, two guys, two guys. On my T. Yep. One's dead. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Oh my god, they're loaded. A multi crate. Wow, it feels good to finally be winning. Oh guy, go in front of us. Um. Oh yeah. Ah, look at him. Oh no, that guy. He's going towards you. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. We continued to PVP, but on this occasion, we thought we'd sell our profits to the black market trader. He's dead. Hit one. I got, I got one. I got one. I got one. Nice. Got one. All dead, yeah. Oh man, good job, dude. Oh my gosh. So after some more killing and looting, we actually got ourselves a ton of loot. So we went over to the black market trader to sell all the guns we'd gathered. And with hundreds of thousands, we left to head back to base. But guess what? I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead, insta dead. Where the fuck was he? Now this is a critical moment in this story where I realize if you want to win on this server, you can't play casual. We just died and lost a whole day's worth of loot just because we weren't paying attention and not really caring enough. But here I am, back at the coast. But this time, I needed to think hard of how I could redeem this adventure. Up until this point, we'd been playing purely for fun and not really taking it seriously. But there had to be some sort of way we could compete with these crazy, cracked players. Well, I was out of ideas. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Mona Lisa. Yeah, yeah. Da Vinci? And that's when some spontaneous idea came into my head. If I could gather some of my good friends and we took it a bit more seriously, we could actually make a name for ourselves on the server. And what would that name be, you ask? Well, let me introduce you to the Da Vinci, the most scuffed PvP squad you'll ever meet. But with our dedication, I think we'll do fine. The 
beginning of a new week where I start my new life no longer as Josh, but as Dave DaVinci. I start the day at my base looking through all of the boxes filled with junk. Now if we really want to compete with these other clans, we were going to need more armor, guns, and eventually raid tools, which money buys. So I met up with my buddies and we looted the Northwest Airfield, followed by Tizzy. Guy, guy near us, guy near us! On my T, on my T! I see him, I see him, I see him. Okay, he's dead, yeah, yeah, nice. With the loot we'd gathered, we took it up to the black market trader and sell the expensive guns. Our first day as the Da Vinci's was a successful one. We'd gathered enough guns and safely sold them at the black market and returned the money back to our base. This was hopefully one of many great days ahead. For the rest of that day, we went over to Green Mountain and bought some more storage for our base. Once we'd done that, we went out for another selling run, checking all over Northwest Airfields, then a quick selling run again to the black market trader at Devil's Castle. I stopped my recording and was just about to log out of the server. But just before all of us were about to log off for the day, we met the neighbors. Do you live here? Oh, he's at the window, he's at uh, the window. Don't shoot. You can see me, but. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I've seen you, I've seen you. Alright. Um, uh, I'm putting my weapon on my back, okay? Um, do you live near here? Or what, what's your name? We left too. Don't, don't worry about that. Okay, what's, what's your name? I want to know your name. Tiff Clan. We just met the Tiff Clan. No, Piff, P I F. They oh, just Piff. put something in chat. Alright, oh, okay. And he just put Da Vinci? Question mark. Da Vinci? <laughs> Alright, hello. Uh, so we're, we're the Da Vinci family, okay? And um, we're, we're a friendly group. Um, do you guys know of any bad groups that are around that. Um, that we should stay clear of, because we're, we're near right here. Yeah, believe us. We are friend, free friendly, whoever do friendly to us. Same, same, same with us. Right. Yeah, same with us as well. But do you guys know any bad groups that are not good? Okay, uh, my friends oh. has gave me an info, so there's a couple of guys in the mountain. We will going to flank them. So, goodbye. Alright, okay. Bye. Tell him to come back! No, he's away. So she just left. Is there a way to kill that guy on the hill? Okay, let's not intervene. Intervene! Damn, I missed the part where he runs up to us. Let's start recording. I had to turn on my GoPro, it was off. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I so want to just go over there and shoot him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Uh, hello? Uh, yeah. Hello? Yeah, we killed him. Oh, ask him- nice. I ask him a question, just say, can I ask a question? Um, can okay, I ask a question? Come. What's the question, Josh? Did, does he know the group in the Church of Novi? The group in the Church of Novi? It was me, it was me, I just, I just shot yeah, the zombie. No worries, no worries. Can I ask you a question? A question? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know who owns the Novi church base? Uh, yeah, no, sorry, I don't know. He's never seen them? No. Do you know, have you never encountered nope. them, never been over there? No, nope. I don't know, sorry. No. Okay, there's not much else to say, this geezer. Nope. How many people oh, are playing? Why is he shooting at me? Shooting at you? Okay, yes, let me tell him. Yes, he just shot at me. We're supposed to be friendly. <laughs> We're supposed to be friends. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's not? <laughs> So he just shot me, I he... seen the bullet land oh, on the window shelf, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, he told... Uh, just say it's fine, just story. say you forgive him and you love... I mean, just, just uh, say you forgive fine. him. It's fine, I forgive you, I forgive you. Uh, just say, do you want to <laughs> set up a line and be friendly? You, you're the one that shoot us, you're shooting us, so... Uh, uh, we didn't shoot you, what do you mean? 
Right, um, yeah, do, you, do you guys want to be friendly or allies or... Of course, what? we're neighbors, we're neighbors, of course, of course we want to do this. Okay, okay. You guys know TC Kin clan? Which clan? They are trying to raid us, they... TC Key. TC, okay, I don't know those guys. Uh, they are trying to raid us, I think. Ah, so where's your base? Yeah, it's yep. our base. Green mustache and the base behind it, it's both of them. Okay, okay. So I this is your base. Are, this is all base. your base. This is Middle East, motherfucker. <laughs> These guys were crazy. With a massive base and were a huge threat. But they were friendly. I think? Anyway, we'd officially organized an alliance with the Piff Clan, who were based in Pasoshka even before us. They clearly had a lot of guns and ammo to waste, which probably means they have a lot of money, so it was a worthwhile friendship. We headed back into our base and logged off. Oh, nice guys, I'm pretty chill. And we live another day. Honestly, this could go on for hours if I showed you every day of the rest of this adventure. So I'm going to summarize what exactly happens. Day 9 began and we needed to start spending our money. So we had a strategy. We continue our looting, PvPing and gathering guns that we then go sell at the trader while our friend Oggy would look for people selling the raid swords. Then with the money we'd made from selling guns, would go straight towards buying as many raid swords as we could get a hold of. So we all headed out. Fucking fully on mode. I see him. He's dead, he's dead. Convoy on the road, on the road. Where? Oh shit, I see it. So many, so many. Oh my god! Yeah, on the, on the, uh, he's here once, on the watchtower. Yeah, go in front of us. He's dead, one's dead. Another, another. He's dead. Oh my god, there's a guy here. He's dead. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, he's geared! Day 12. I will always remember this day being so eventful, almost this whole adventure could have tied to this one day. The day began as we headed out to do our usual PvP run, but this time we went towards Starry, the territory of the Novi Church group. But on our way, we ran into some PvP. My ping, my ping. One set once. One's dead. Another on me. Hit him twice. What? One's on the He's dead. Nice, nice, nice. But particularly today, we got into so much PvP. Probably more today than we'd had in the last few days combined. After all the PvP on the outskirts of Starry, we began to move closer in. But we stupidly blew our cover by shooting a guy in a field. Now this is where our error was made, because all of those wasted shots drew people over to us, making us a target. Oh! 
got me. Oh. I'm hit. Two guys on you. One dead, one dead. One this hit on my tee, I think. One dead. He's a right gully, right gully. Don't see him, don't see him. Now two of my teammates were killed, leaving just me and one other friend left. But I was able to find the guys who had killed us. But then all of a sudden. Oh, right on me, I'm dead. You're dead? So, yeah, yeah, it was right on me. No footsteps, or whatever. I didn't hear nothing. And guess who showed up? Yeah, it's these same guys, man. They're so good. They're so sweaty, though, bro. There's one, there's two, there's a third somewhere. Why is that guy? So that guy's going real far that way. This is what they do. They actually spread out. I could maybe isolate and just go for one of them. You've killed the guys yet, Josh. Oh, bro. There's, there's three of them at least. And pretty sure they are the bases. They are the base in Novi. In Novi right. Church. Pretty sure. This is what this group does. Oh my god, driving the car, yeah. These guys have got to be a Novi, but I want to make sure of that. They're going to Altar. So basically, what I'm gathering so far is this is a group in, in Novi Sabor, in the Novi Church, I'm assuming. What they do is they just kind of like... I don't want to say farm, but like they kind of are. They kill a lot of people. They take their loot to altar and they just bring it back. They just bring it back to their base, basically. Once the enemies had cleared off, I had a chance to get some of the loot left on the bodies for my dead teammates when they came back. There were still so many guns. Those guys who I thought to be the Novi Church clan must have been absolutely loaded. I stashed some guns away and me and my friend fought off some of the players until my other friends arrived. You want a gun? Yeah, please. Actually, just come to the stash. A stash. Somewhere around here. I'll find it. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> it's that easy. Open the pouches. You know I'm fucking mad. See that pack not so Bro, do me a favor, don't take more than you need, because this is no, why we keep getting cut. Just don't What's this? Um The foul in the cell was whack, man. It couldn't even one tap of fresh air in it. Uh there's a Scar H mag in the body there oh, as well. My game just crashed. Wait, wait, wait. He's on the left to right. I killed two. Fucking hell. What a time to crash. Oh my god, I got three bullets left. Uh, Another one, hold on. Um. My gun aimed down. Based on their gear, we're pretty sure that these were our guys. The Novi Church Clan. They had ambushed us and killed us, and although I was able to take out two of them and leave the last guy very injured, that didn't matter. Because all they needed was just one of them left alive, they'd heal up within two minutes using saline bags, and all of our loot and theirs was theirs to keep. In other words, they win yet another fight. 
That was our opportunity to kill this group in a gunfight and win big. Yet we blew it. But something you might have missed just seconds before we were attacked. Oh, my game just crashed. Wait, my teammate Lewis was still alive, but he crashed just before we were attacked. And because I had killed two of them, and there only being three with the last guy being very low on health, all Lewis had to do was log back on and finish the last guy off in the group, leaving all of their gear with us. These guys had to have so much on them with all the bodies they'd looted in that field and selling at Altar. All dead. Lewis was able to kill the last guy, but it wasn't over just yet. We had to get there and secure the loot before the enemies do. This is me on you. Can I, can I just get straight to a body? Yes, just come to me. Oh, I've okay, moved all the guns. Okay, guns okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm on my body. There's another body here. I don't think you loot. US Army. Bro, I love it because you don't, didn't even pick. There must be so much loot because you didn't pick up this as well. Oh wow, look at this! Just come up to me, we can see how much shit's here. Where are the bodies? Where's the loot? Up, up, up. Okay, I see some of it. Is this- Oh my lord! Wow, bro. My golly gosh, dude. Take the M200 and the TX, bro. We're getting out of here. TX. I think I've got space for some stuff, guns and stuff. There's we nothing left, bro. <laughs> okay, oh my it. god, let's get out of here. Do you know it was worth you dying all those times just for that bit at the end? Yep, it was actually. I got one of the names. Okay. okay, just remember it, okay? Is that a clan? Uh, no, no, not a clan, not a clan. Okay. We were finally able to kill the group who were assumed to be the Novi Church clan. But we weren't entirely sure it was them. But based on the amount of loot they had, there being three of them who we saw earlier in the field, it had to have been them. Today was a massive win. We just had to get this loot back to our base. But if you were to tell me what was about to happen, I wouldn't believe you for a second. The course of this adventure was about to change. It's right in front of me! It's just stopped too! I killed him! I'm dead! Oh my god. How many are there? On my, on my ping. Oh fuck, it didn't ping, it didn't ping. How yeah, many on my are ping, there? How many are there? there? One more, I think. No, no, my second ping. First ping, first ping. So could build a base or something. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Uh, yeah, he's running back. Okay, Ninga, ping, keep the ping on the loot. We're going to go around. We're going to take this back to base. Ninga, you cover the bodies if you can. Yeah, we have too much loot on us. We're going to go. While one of us covered the car, the rest of us needed to run back to drop off all the loot that we got near Starry. We had too much to lose to take this fight. But luckily, our base wasn't too far from the car in Viable. Clear. Clear, come wait, on wait, wait. I'm fine. Cover it. Cover it. Hold it. Fresh you. Fresh you. Okay. It's them coming back. Why is my game? Come He's going to be on Carlson. He's dead. Yeah, dead. Boss. Yeah. You killed him? Yeah. 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 Fresh you. There's still a fully geared guy. Still yeah, he guy. went for the call. Okay, this is me in town with you fellas. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Mm, it's not far behind. I see him. Wait, wait, wait. Ping. On ping. He's trying to get a shot on me. I see one, I see one, I see one here, yeah. Oh, fucking dead. I shouldn't have moved. I see him. 
He's, he's dead. dead. He's, he's dead. dead. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, we need this car. I'm gonna clear the uh, log cabin, okay? This. Uh huh. A lot of fun. What? That you've got a lot of guns. No, I don't. No, not a lot of guns, a lot of gear, sorry. Come out wrong. Yeah, no, I know. If you guys can cover me, I can drive this back to base. These guys are loaded, man. He's got an M417, a PKM. That's, that's so geared, guys. Can I try and should I try and loot the bot? Oh. Guys, I'm can you get to me? Up, I'm pushing you. Yeah. Push under the car. Up. Clear the log. We ambushed the car. And it was so full, I couldn't even begin to explain to you. You only saw a glimpse of what was inside. And what makes it even better was a familiar clan that maybe you remember our neighbors mentioning. You guys know TCK clan. They are trying to raid us. TCK. With all the loot, we grabbed every last bit of it and returned it to our home as quickly as is possible. I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just unbelievable. I've never. I've just it's just unbelievable, guys. It's unbelievable how much we've gone. It's what the fuck is this, Augie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. You ready for a big one, boys? Feels good, Let's man. Go. Oh. Guns up, Cheers, boys. boys. Cheers, boys. Oh, wait, you think it ends here? Oh. <laughs> Okay, bring the music back. Now let me show you how this truly ends. We were in such a good position with everything in our base, and although we had a lot of money, we needed more. So we went to Green Mountain to buy two of the fastest cars that we'd fill with our best guns, which we then took to the black market to sell, leaving us with a total of nearly a million rubles, allowing us to secure many raids or deals that Oggy had organized. And a few days later, we went back to Novi. Yeah, they're inside, they're inside, they're, they're sawing. They're sawing? They're cutting something. You're kidding me. They're getting raided right now. The church we were such big enemies with were getting raided. We killed a few of the raiders, but most of us were killed. But my teammates had seen some of the raiders going into the piano building next door. Well, we had a box of raid tools, but we were going to need help. And then we realized. The Da Vinci's and the Piff Clan teamed up and went to raid the piano building. With all of our members, we broke through every single gate and storage we saw and took the whole base for ourselves. And while we were there, why not raid the church base too? <laughs> 